Well, that was ugly. That's really all I can think of to describe the last two days of Cardinals baseball. How about you? The Pirates, a middling team without a real identity, made the Cardinals look exceptionally inferior as they went on to win 6-2 to two to secure the series victory last night at PNC Park. And yes, that means they spoiled Jack Flaherty Day. I guess we should probably start there. While the Boy Wonder wasn't bad, he also wasn't great. Pitching into the sixth inning, but unable to record an out before he gave up back-to-back -back walks. He would exit, and one of those walks would come around to score on a base hit off of Dominic Leone. Now, that would end up being the winning run. The Cardinals managed just two base runners after that point, so the one-run lead at the time would have sufficed. But the Cardinals' bullpen wasn't done, nor was the Cardinals' defense. Is it bad if I say that Luke Gregerson is pretty much who I thought he would be and that is not really very good? He's appeared in five games and faced 14 batters, given up four hits, has an ERA over six, and a whip creeping towards two. I don't care what numbers you look at, he's been terribly ineffective in a bullpen that five days ago looked pretty good, but this weekend did not. Gregerson started the seventh by giving up a double, followed by a walk, and his night was done. Tyler Lyons was in one of his, I'm not really feeling like I'm gonna be all that great tonight either, funks, and after a pass ball, a sack fly from David Freeze made it a two-run game. Because of course it was David Freeze. After a hit by pitch for Ty Lai, it was poor Mike Myers, recently recalled, called upon to clean up the mess. Spoiler alert, he didn't. Two soft ground balls later, and it was 5-2 buckos. Bullpen's gonna bullpen, am I right? There were actually a lot of things that went wrong in this game, though. Not just the bullpen. Jose Martinez seemed to be having some trouble breathing at a couple of points. Later, it was called congestion, but that was super scary. Also scary, Dexter Fowler flipping head over heels over the fence in right field trying to make a heroic play on a foul ball. He would also be okay. That Carpenter trying to make a throw from third to first is also pretty frightening right now. Now I don't know if his shoulder is really giving him that much trouble or if the lack of strength in his throwing arm is just some sort of residual effect from the pain he tried to play through last year. But either way, this team can't afford miscues from Matt Carpenter when it's also playing Jose Martinez sort of out of position at first base and leaving Jed Jerko on the bench. Carpenter was far from the only Cardinal to make a bad defensive play on the night though. Colton Wong pocketed what could have been an inning ending double play ball in the sixth and of course, that was instantly followed by Josh Bell lining one just out of reach of Colton Wong and into center field, where Tommy Pham promptly made an error in backing up the play. And I don't know if I'd call it scary, but it was weird. Mike Myers got called for a quick pitch to start the eighth inning. As we all soon learned in the segment of the show where Danny Mac reads the rule book on air, the subjectively called quick pitch results in a ball added to the count. So rather than striking out Colin Moran, he came back to the plate with new life and walked and later scored. If you ask Cardinals Twitter, the last two games took the team from, hey, look, maybe they're actually gonna be almost good this year, to they're the worst team that has ever played, fire Matheny, in fact, fire everyone real fast. But also, if you ask Twitter, they'll probably tell you that I spent the entire game photoshopping Cardinals players as Marvel characters. So maybe I just made all this up because I was thinking of some battle scene from a Marvel film. Who knows? Look, every team has these ups and downs. Every team's going to look really bad at times. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stay that way. It also doesn't mean that everything's fine.